Hey folks, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna have a look at a 2022 Grand Design Solitude model number 3550BH. First time today I've seen this trailer. I love it. We got double over double bunks in the back, outside kitchen, but still a ridiculous living space. Feels like a real living room when you're in there. Shiver me timbers! This is a beautiful trailer. It weighs around 13,300 pounds, and I'm with my friend, Brandon Hanemeyer on the camera today. How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for watching. We all really appreciate it. Like and subscribe right now. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing. This is gonna be a cool one. You can bring the entire family, even some of the cousins. Ooh, That's what you wanna do camp. Enjoy guys. Yeah. No you Dutch people and your cousins, Brendan. <laughs> right. We got ourselves our front pin box right here. LED lights, a beautiful molded front fiberglass cap. It's a little bit darker today, so you can see those LED lights actually, which is fantastic, with the front windshield built into our front cap. Dropping down, we've got our rougher style storage. People keep saying this is generator prep. It's not. A generator prep is we have a steel box around here, some wiring. This is the rougher storage. Your battery and box location is right over there. Around this side here, we've got our pass-through storage. It goes all the way through to the other side. It is a little bit of a bigger opening on the other side. And our water controls are right here. So city water, black water flush, winterized, gate valves, low point drains, all that stuff's done there. And then we have a four point electric auto leveling system controlled right from, in, right from in here. 30 pound per pain tanks, one on either side. I mentioned electric auto leveling, Brendan. Yep. Sewer drain down there, sewer uh, hose holder to the left. And I said four point electric, Brendan, six point. <laughs> Jeepers, buddy, <laughs> Jeepers. All right, coming on the back side. We've got some great storage here at the back as well, even though we have the outside kitchen. So that's great spacing through here. Nice and tall. We got a motion sense of light in there as well. We have a rear class three receiver, good for 300 pounds tongue weight, 3,000 pounds towing, four-way receiver, or sorry, four-way wiring right there at the back. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. And then down here on the door side, take a step back, look at all these big windows here on this side, looking out to our campsite, that's great. We got our outside kitchen here, two cubic foot fridge, outside spray port, receptacle, and then you got yourself a nice little light here, and then we have the suburban cooktop. Right in through here, unbuckle this bad boy, flip this around. Bingo bango, you're cooking with gas, literally, literally right there, you're cooking right on that cook plate. You gotta make sure you season it first. Just ask my, ask, my, ask my chef buddy, Jeff Morinch, and we got ourselves our outside speakers here, Rockford Fosgate. It is linked for a uh, tire link system, so a TPMS system already built into this guy. Four step entry, lend a hand grab handle. Another outside spray port. So that's three water hookups out here on the outside. The outside shower, the spray port, and then one at the outside kitchen as well. And then check out the other side of our pass through storage right in through here. Awesome possum, let's have a look inside. Right on folks, we're inside that 3550BH. You're standing right by the fridge and the pantry area there, looking toward our rear living room part of the trailer. I got some nice theater seats here, heat massage, open and close all electrically, spot to store your remotes, got yourself a little cup holder here, and I'm facing the TV. I also, it just feels huge in through here when I'm sitting down, it feels nice and deep. I got windows are behind me, windows in front of me. Um, and then the key is these windows, like we talked about on the outside, are facing the door side of the trailer. We got ourselves our trifold style sofa. That's gonna pull out lengthwise. You're gonna sleep two people there as long as they're in love. A couple of nice lights here. Storage here across the top. Storage here across the top. And you know, we got bunks towards the back here, but if I close that door, you would just think this is like a rear living room. Just the way that's kind of fitted out in through here. We got our four chairs here at our freestanding table and chairs. Notice there's no carpet here out in the slide, which is fantastic. Nice tall slides as well. I'm six feet tall. I can fit all the way underneath it. We got the nice black roller shades in through here. Here at the front, you got your hutch area. All right, receptacle right there. Storage here. All right, this is also where your washer dryer prep would be. Right here is our pantry location. Okay, all right, nice and deep in through there. There's a light built in as well. We, this particular model has the 12 cubic foot gas electric fridge. There is an option for a residential fridge. Storage there. Microwave right here. Nice big, lots oh, of convection microwave, that's nice. 
storage there, storage here, and then we should have some additional lights here. Boom. Great counter space here to the left of the stovetop. It's a three burner stovetop with a glass stovetop cover. Nice oven. Oven kind of drawer there for your pots and your pans. Storage all through here as well. Now check out this island. It's super deep. All right, so it's nice and deep this way. Nice and long. Great kind of black fixtures here, the flat black. Undermount stainless steel sink. But the separation is kind of dropped down a little bit here, meaning you can do your big pots and pans in there a little bit easier. We got drawers all built in. Cupboards, cupboards. More drawers over here as well. All right, uh, bunks, Brennan? Oh yeah. All right, up into the bunk room, all right. First off, you have a little cubby hole to store some shoes, slippers, that kind of action in through here. We've got a spot to hang some things up. We have some great kind of wardrobe space in through here with shelving down below it. All right, all that's fantastic. And then the double bunk here at the top, we got two bunks in each window, or sorry, two windows in the top bunk with some lights and then two lights in the bottom bunk as well. I'm just gonna slide in this one just to give you an idea of the size. I'm six feet tall. All right. And laying perfectly straight, I can fit in through here pretty easily. And then there is a little bit of a bonus kind of piece of storage here. You just gotta grab the strap here, and then you got some storage there underneath that black bunk. Up into the bedroom slash bathroom. <clears throat> Walking down the hallway, we do got a closet as you walk in. That's a big key with a trailer in my mind. Into the washroom, got ourselves our squat check. That all checks out, porcelain toilet, uh, solid surface counters, covers there, drawers here, solid surface, even the washroom, undermount stainless steel sink, a couple of medicine cabinets in through here as well. Now with the shower, it doesn't feel like we're stepping up because it's pretty well flush with the floor, which is great. I'm six feet tall, I can turn around, uh, do my business here, upgrade a shower head for this year as well. And then a nice little texture here to the shower surround. Very, very nice. Into the bedroom, um, we've got a full-size queen bed, all right. Uh, there is gonna be storage underneath the bed. All right, a great amount of storage underneath the bed there. We've got that big front windshield. So you're looking out over the peasants there. Bedside tables, cupboards on either side. All right, great, great footwork, Brendan. Mm -hmm. You're on the same page, buddy. Mm -hmm. And then out in the slide here, part of our wardrobe is right through here. The other part's right there. And then we got four drawers here built in kind of for our dresser. All right, fantastic stuff. Notice there's no carpet in here. Just, a, you know, there's a blind to kind of separate that all off. Very, very nice bedroom, very open. Killer washroom too. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends. Then you can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com. Have yourself a good day.